a very good evening to everyone welcome to global online university and here we are back with our nta ugc net paper 1 preparation for uh, 2022 batch <coughs> and we have the topic that is teaching aptitude this is our ninth lecture uh, for teaching aptitude and in today's topic we are going to deal with methods of teaching in institutions of higher learning so what exactly the details are we will see and every day we have lecture live at 9 pm this is just to announce that we are going to start with our next set of batch that is from 3rd of february 2022 and the topic here will be uh, with respect to the topic which we are going to take uh, will be research aptitude so we are going to start the new batch with a new topic that is a new unit that is research aptitude and how it will be beneficial for you you will be definitely getting 100 plus live lectures of all the topics of paper 1 you will be getting 100 plus video lectures of all the topics including each and every sub unit notes will be given in the pdf form for all the topics of the syllabus you will be having practice papers uh, previous year question papers for solving uh, with the solution as well as mock test also will be taken after the syllabus is completed so this all will amount to more than 2500 mcqs and the validity of the same will be for a year so you can use this course uh, validity of the course will be for one year if you have any doubts or any details if you if you seek to happen uh, have any details you can just give a uh, whatsapp you can ping on the whatsapp number given below so you can get the query sorted out I hope all the students who have joined, uh, everything is fine. My voice is clear. Is ev everything fine? Just one of you, let me know so that we can start it very well. The fees for the same is rupees two thousand two thousand. And if you really want to join exclusively WhatsApp batch, you will be having fees as one four double nine. Again, as as I said, if you have any doubts or any concerns, you can please get in touch with the given WhatsApp number. Uh, we have paper two also course paper two course um, zeba uh, fee for what what you are asking the fee for just let me know what doubt you have uh, others i hope everything is very clear uh, voice and everything because i didn't get any message from any one of you so just let me know uh, paper two if you are looking for the subjects management commerce and economics we also have paper two wherein you will be getting live like uh, sorry where you will you will be getting video lectures you will be getting notes on all the topics you will be getting previous year five years previous year question papers mock test will be taken after the syllabus is completed and that will be as a revision a replica to your uh, actual test or actual examination covering more than 2500 mcqs the fees for paper 2 is 5000 but please remember if you are taking exclusively paper 2 so with this paper 1 will be free of cost paper 1 you don't have to pay if you are taking paper 2 so if you are taking exclusively paper 2 paper will be with uh, paper 1 will be free with this still in case if you have any doubts or any concerns you can please get in touch with the given whatsapp number okay now let's start the session for the day we have as we are aware that uh, we have five questions in this particular unit and the total marks are 10 and in this particular unit if everything goes very well you can score 10 on 10 i just told you that you have to ensure your uh, learning your revising is done in a very structuredized format and there is no harm i mean to say that in fact there is no difficulty at all to score 10 on 10 in this particular unit now Uh, every day see there is an intention to give you a reflection towards the syllabus many a times you know syllabus is very important you should know what exactly you are learning what is a part of uh, you know your syllabus and uh, how the things can also there are certain questions which were based on the syllabus also it means your syllabus should be very clear so yes we have completed almost 90% of the syllabus tomorrow will be our last lecture for teaching aptitude because from day after tomorrow we are going to join uh, we are going to start research aptitude so we have completed teaching in detail with concept objectives levels of teaching levels of teaching i have done very much in detail this time each and every aspect of the concept is taken learners characteristics where we have done adolescent uh, stages also piaget stages of development we have done learned uh, in detail we have seen individual difference concept also 
factors affecting teaching uh, that is also done now in this particular as i said learners characteristics and factors in this most of the questions are seen in assertion and reasoning or statement wise questions so you should be bit careful when you are reading the concepts when you are revising the concepts i mean to say methods of uh, teaching in higher institution sorry in institutions of higher education this is a topic which we are going to cover today the entire topic teaching support system we will be doing it tomorrow okay and evaluation uh, system we have done this topic yesterday in detail so today we have left with just two topics out of which one topic we are doing today and one last remaining topic we will be doing tomorrow so there is the end of the uh, unit okay now before we go ahead i before i start with the session let me announce you we will come with the ne next cycle also i mean to say uh, almost after completing all the units when we start with the second round so in second round along with what we have learned the more focus then will be you know on certain new topics which were covered in 2020 and 21 cycle from exam point of view because now the main concepts are clear so i will not waste time again and again in concepts we will go from exam point of view how to crack the questions what certain things you know you need to keep in mind uh, important concepts which were part of uh, you know like for example which were uh, importantly uh, questions were definitely there on that so we will focus our next cycle will focus more from exam point of view so before i start with my next cycle it's request to everyone whatever unit now this is my if i am not wrong this is my third unit at i mean to say in this month we have completed with uh, people and environment we have completed with higher education teaching aptitude i have completed so three units you should be uh, ready with okay then only you will be able to take the uh, benefit of the next cycle otherwise it is difficult for you so let's start now uh, we are going to see swayam swayam prabha offline methods and online methods in detail so let's start now when many, many of you know it but uh, still we make lot of uh, mistakes so just concentrate focus here we are not now it is not learning it is more of concentration at the topic at the questions at the concepts so when we talk about swayam swayam yes a very first question which when swayam topic started was definitely the full form of swayam that is study web of active learning for young aspiring minds which was in the 2019 paper Swayam is a e-learning platform in India which is developed by Ministry of Human Resource Development now called as Ministry of Education Government of India and All India Ta Council for Technical Education along with the Microsoft Corporation so basically it was designed to achieve the three cardinal principles very 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 important uh, uh, sentence that is what are the principles of swayam or on what principles does swayam exist so that is accessibility equity and quality these are the three important principles with respect to they have they play an important role in higher education also and these are the institutions which are a part of higher education so obviously this principles will be you know given importance so what are those three principles that is accessibility equity and quality which was launched in the year 2017 that is 9th of july 2017 by the late ex president shri pranav mukherjee it was the digital educational television it started with its digital educational television channels that is swayam prabha which was available 24 by 7 swayam is one of the massive on open online course initiative so again moves uh, full form okay was one of the question in the previous year so you should know very well it is massive open online courses swayam host courses from the class 9 to post graduation level now see how i have uh, today i have just designed the P uh, ppts little bit different way i'll first take all the theory part which is related to swayam and then again with the help of diagrammatic presentation we will do it as in revision so twice it has been taken just you can you know brush up the things very well so when we talk about objective of swayam swayam uh, to take what is the first objective of swayam to take learning resources from the best from the best available to all which is you know where the certain people were deprived of it so here as we know that one of the principle is equity so it is like the best learning resources for all so there is no one who will be deprived of education you can say that 
secondly to bridge the digital divide that is also one of the question was in one of the statement form it was asked so to bridge to reduce the gap of digital divides for the students who have not yet experienced digital revolution and are unable to join the knowledge the mainstream of knowledge so in order to reduce or in order to make them you know uh, things accessible the that was the main objective of swayam so that is you can say accessibility and equity was uh, at a top uh, important objectives which swayam started with with what intention swayam started neelam very good uh, good evening seeing you after a long time so now let's focus on features as i said this is little bit in the sentence format in the next uh, slides we have we are going to do in diagrammatic format also but let's have a look okay so as we started that it starts courses uh, the courses offered at swayam platform is from 9th till post graduation okay the courses hosted are divided into four quadrants so there are four quadrants so these are the four quadrants the which are listed below okay so quadrant talks about video lecture it talks about reading that is the material study material it talks about the self assessment test and it talks about the discussion forum even this was one of the question for swayam okay so this was one of the question uh, which was a part of previous year question paper so see till now we just did two slides but in two slides three questions were there one was swayam full form one was massive uh, that is moves full form the third question was based on quadrant also so yes the courses categories include engineering science management humanities language mathematics commerce art recreation general and general as well as library and education the courses offered are free of cost to the learners now please do not ignore this point uh, see students get confused over here when we say that uh, when we talk about uh, swayam uh, okay uh, neelam heartiest congratulations actually i was waiting for that only what uh, what about your results Uh, really happy for you god bless you and uh, same thing you can please ensure that maybe your net results also come positive just hope for the best okay but once again on behalf of global online university really great uh, pleasure that uh, you have cleared your set examination and god bless you with a bright future okay so now when we talk about um, in uh, in the which question you are talking about can you just tell can you just put an highlight on which question uh, regarding quadrants or regarding the free cost i am talking about the point so if you can just type it around it will be better for other students also so yes so we are, when we are talking about uh, courses which are offered at free cost now yes here there can be a point of confusion to you so when we talk about the courses which are offered by swayam are free of cost but if you want you know you want a credit for that courses then you have to register with a nominal fee okay so please remember on the platform the courses are free but if you want a certification for that then you have to pay the nominal fees and you can go ahead it's written in the next sentence also see learners who acquire certification then will have to register and pay a fee so this two statements can confuse you so you have to be very very clear with this okay so i hope it is very uh, very clear with you the point of fees at the end of the course there will be an assessment of the students through supervised examination the grades obtained in this assessment can be transferred to the academic record of the students um okay which is the indu yes so it means indu in 2021 you are saying the question came no uh, so this was the question which was asked earlier also in the previous year question paper okay so the same topic was repeated uh, good thank you for that so yes the grades which are obtained uh, by the particular student can be taken as you know as uh, can be transferred to the academic records in the form of credit so ugc has already issued you know the ugc uh, regulation which says that the credit framework for online learning courses through swayam will be considered 
okay uh, where the credits can be transferred on academic record of the students who have pursued the courses of swayam scheme and this credit transfer uh, takes place in the last it is reflected in the last semester so whichever course the student is doing uh, the last semester the course uh, the credit transfer gets added up okay so this is how it works out so uh, please remember i'll just focus on that point very well because in case if you just uh, do not listen it it will be a problem so see there are two things when we talk about swayam courses so one thing is where it is completely free of cost where you can see and where you can learn or gain the knowledge secondly you have to pay the fees if you are as in student if you are interested to go for a certification so for that the nominal amount for the course has to be paid and then you can Uh, take the certification your credits which you secured actually this credits uh, even if the teachers are appearing for this examination in their academic uh, performance index api this uh, credit gets counted okay so it is beneficial for students also as well as it is beneficial for the teachers also okay so you have to keep in mind it is very easy you can it has worth the certification has worth so you can appear for that okay now yes so this is a diagrammatic form of the quadrant so uh, it is basically it talks about assessment it talks about e tutorials it talks about e content and discussion forum so when we talk about assessment that is you know uh, assignments are given to you uh, based on that you have to complete the assignments as per the deadlines assessment will be done e tutorial will be taken e content will be provided if any doubts you can discuss them on the discussion forum so these are the four quadrants now we have got a uh, authentication from one of the student that this was the recent question in 2021 also so you have to keep this in mind very well okay so they can give you in the form of odd man out or they can give you Uh, uh, I mean to say, they will uh, tell you to select from the given below. So any form it can come, but you have to keep this in mind. Going next is uh, yes, yeah. So if you want little bit of idea in detail about the quadrant, so if we talk about uh, e tutorials, so it is in the form of video audio content, which is. Uh, are in the form of uh, demo lectures or virtual lab uh, sorry virtual labs related to the syllabus or related to the subject now when we talk about quadrant 2 it is about the content that is study material which can be uploaded in the form of text pdf ebooks illustrations uh, interactive simulation so all the form wherein you will get the required study material for your subject then we have quadrant next quadrant is the resources so with the help of various links with the help of wikipedia with the help of case studies with the help of research paper journals information it means in web sources wherein you get all the references for your course and self assessment means problems and solutions in the form as i said in the form of multiple choice questions in the form of uh, fill in the blanks match the following short answers long answers quiz so it depends upon faculty to faculty how they are framing the assessment of your uh, i mean to say of your course so accordingly the liberty is given to the faculty okay now who are the national coordinators of swayam so now here also see always this national coordinators actually i'm not there is no direct question on national coordinators but in some or other form this question comes these are the not uh, completely new topics or new names these are there some some many a times it is seen for the full form acronyms are given you are supposed to write the full form also so you have to be very careful with the uh, all the acronym so let's have a look at them very clearly so when we talk about all india council for technical education that is called as aict it is uh, where which it conducts annual refresher program for faculty of engineering or university or institutions so it is basically uh, into technical education when we talk about neptel that is national program on technology enhanced learning for engineering it is uh, basically uh, involved for engineering courses UGC for post graduation education when when we talk about consortium for educational institution now consortium is nothing but association of bodies for undergraduate education then we have national council for educational research and training that is ncert for school education national institute of opening schooling that is for again nios that for, for school education 
Indira Gandhi National Open University that is IGNU out of school students that is a distance education you can say see now how I have written a different word out of school students so when you are reading it you have to read it you know very carefully Institute of Indian Institute of Management that is IIM Bangalore for management studies and National Institute of Technical Teachers Training and Research NITTR that is for teacher training program so the see the reason is two things I have covered over here I have not only covered the full form but what it is meant for in one of the previous year question papers match the following questions were asked with reference to what they are meant for if if it is an NIS if it is NCRT if it is IGNU what they are meant for you had to match the pairs so that is very very important is it clear It is it is our pleasure, Neelam. Thank you very much. Like let like you all the students who join us, or who see our videos. We just bless that everyone should get clear in their, uh, in their one span of cycle. So it, it you know it, it really has a lot of impact on career. So like you, let's others also work hard and get clear the things. Okay. So yes, yeah, still here now. I have completed in the form of what in the form of theoretical aspect. Okay. Now. the same thing i have repeated but in diagrammatic form so it is just like in revision a quick revision for you so we, we just now studied what is the full form for swayam that is study webs of active learning for young aspiring minds uh, uh, under the move platform that is indian uh, sorry a massive open online course both of the questions were for full forms and both of the questions were one previous year questions so you should remember them very well then uh it was started launched by whom launched with the help of ministry of human resource development no, now known as ministry of human resource education in a co in collaboration with neptil iit madras and google int okay so there is there was no question on this but still be 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 careful principles very very important assess equity and quality these are the three important principles on which swayam works okay what is the objective so we have studied both this objective to digital divide okay so there are many students who are not able to you know uh, take the opportunity of this digital revolution so to make it possible this particular uh, swayam i mean say swayam has worked for it and at the same time free entry for all the uh, courses under what under the digital india so yes it is free of cost that free point i have explained you very well you have to just remember that in what point it is applicable fees is applicable only in the point of certification okay so when we go ahead i mean to say when we go to the next uh, set of the diagram so it talks about see i'll just take one point first this then i will i am jumping because it is in connection so registration as i said if you want certification for that registration is required and for that you have to pay the fees so the fee point is very very clear okay and now what is the benefit of this certification this certification will help you to get the credits and when was this resolution passed this was passed by ugc in the year 2016 that whatever credits are secured by the student and by the teacher by appearing for this exams will be transferred to their individual you know for students it will stand for uh, it will be transferred for their exams and for teachers it will be transferred for api okay now uh, subjects when we talk about what it teaches it teaches all the subjects range, ranging from 9th to post graduation and it is as per your convenience of time and which are free of cost and the courses which are covered that is computer science language mathematics arts entertainment management general library and uh, education which are taught by more than 1000 selected faculty It means we have you know specific selected faculty are been appointed to teach the subjects uh, if you obviously if you sometime get time and if you go and check their websites a good faculties i mean to say though they are uh, they are having the traditional way of lecture method but uh, with respect to their knowledge and content uh, obviously it is just best okay now i hope this is very very clear with everyone so here the swayam part gets clear okay fine now we are going to start with swayam prabha 
uh, vikrant uh, i i don't know whether you are aware or not uh, your set classes also we have started with live from today on marathi channel so in case if you are not aware you can just uh, take a note of it uh, because you are preparing for the next upcoming set so both will be helpful for you okay uh, yes so now let's start with swayam prabha Uh, when we talk about swayam prabha yes a group of 34 channels that is direct to home channels till now student get confused till now they feel it is 32 32 is been you know raised to 34 so just take out this confusion of 32 now uh, yes if you are reading some old books see it's not the uh, the editions have not been updated so in some old books if you are referring certain uh, books which are edited uh, sorry which were printed earlier so there you can find 32 channels uh, so please update it it is now 34 channels okay now high quality educational program which is 24 by 7 available with the help of gsat now gsat is nothing but a geo stationary satellite i am talking about swayam prabha okay please remember this very well now again what is an objective of swayam prabha so swayam prabha also talks about accessibility yes now 34 earlier it was 32 indu yes correct so when we talk about objectives this is accessibility uh, education not only school but also higher life classes are available it is curriculum based courses and there is a competitive preparation also okay so all the types of facilities you know for all the educational level is available with the help of swayam prabha that is direct to home the full form for dth is direct to home uh, okay now let's let's understand some features of uh, swayam prabha also so every day there will be a new content for at least 4 hours which will be repeated 5 to 6 times in a day so in case if you have missed a particular content at any time you can ensure that it is you know it is it is repeated in a day it is repeated for four more time five more times where you can whenever you are convenient you can go and you can uh, check the detail then Uh, it talks about allowing the students to choose the time of convenience and that's the reason i mean it is there is a flexibility with the timing channels are uplinked by bsac now what is bsac gandhi nagar the full form that is bhaskar acharya institute for space application and geo informatics there is no question yet but you have to be careful okay good evening dilip i think you are late today but hope uh, whatever you have missed you can catch up later till now i was focusing on swayam only just now i started with swayam prabha okay so the contents which are provided is is in in uh, connection with neptel iits ugc cc igno ncert and nios now here i have purposely not written any full form because one exclusive exclusive slide i have made which we just saw some time back so you can please keep on so now when the topic like for example when the acronym comes in front of you know please try to you know uh, revise on your own okay do not keep it pending letter i will do letter i will do letter nothing happens so just whenever it comes you please keep on the acronyms repeating so who maintains the web portal for swayam prabha that is inflibnet again information and library network center the curriculum is uh, sorry it is a curriculum based course content uh, not only at post graduation but also at the graduation level okay now like for example let me uh, as i said uh, no no dilip it's okay fine i meant to say you may be having certain commitments only the thing is whatever is missed just cover up okay now yes as i said i am going to come up with a, a video on the strategy for net students Uh, very soon i'll come up with that video because i want to include all the points properly in that video so it will take one or two days but i will come up with that okay now yes uh, so now uh, every day i keep on saying you know prepare a notes prepare notes so you know that this this particular coordinators this national coordinators these are not useful only in teaching aptitude you can see them in higher education also we have studied about them in i uh, itc also we are going to study about um, them so these should be written in one of the book 
and it should be you know every alternate days you should keep on revising it see this is because uh, sometimes you know you your strategies are not in place and that's the reason you suffer so you know last at the last moment it all it gets completely confused there are so many formulas there are so many things which you have to keep in mind so if you have an everyday practice for another 6 months it will really help you out best you don't have to you know uh, struggle a lot to get the acronyms you can definitely it will be on the tip of your tongue so that you can please do it okay now yes what are the disciples under um, uh, swayam prabha so it, it deals with the disciplines such as art science commerce performing art social science humanity engineering technology law medicine agriculture so these are the disciplines which are uh, taken care by swayam prabha so here we have ended with what we have ended with swayam prabha so we have completed two topics one is swayam one is swayam prabha we have studied their features we have studied their importance we have studied how they function so uh, these are small small topics and some questions you know very well the full form the quadrant question okay the year these questions should be you know should be definitely in your handy notes which will really have a great revision when you are turning the pages at least once in a week okay now when we talk about moves yes as i said this already i have discussed it was one of the previous year question a full form for moves that is massive open online course which is a web based platform which provides unlimited number of students worldwide with a chance of distance education with the best institutes in the world so it was established back in 2008 and but it gained momentum only after 2012 as one of the popular learning tool so here the full form okay the mode of distance education uh, the establishment year but when it gained the popularity that you have to keep in mind then in india that is neptel indian institute of technology iits and indian institute of science iics offer online courses through this platform which require no registration and it is free of cost so in in india neptel is the one uh, or with the help of neptel a massive online uh, courses are you know are given uh, and which are the institutes which are tied up that is uh, indian institute of technology iits and iics okay so this you have to keep in mind so three topics we have done very well that is swayam swayam prabha and moves okay now let's there is there is one more small topic over here that is online and offline methods online learning and offline learning so online learning we will we know this very well but let's now little bit focus on some characteristics advantages and disadvantages that can also be a part of your uh, you know uh, part of your uh, statement questions okay so let's start with online learning first so when we talk about online learning it is a traditional learning method Uh, sorry uh, let's start with offline learning first so offline learning is a traditional learning method here the teacher acts as in sender of the information and the student acts as a receiver of the information the communication between them is through is taking place through face to face that is with the help of chalk and chalk or board or overhead projectors or you can even use the word as smart classes okay do it is on uh, offline but it is smart classes are used in order to make the concept clear this method has been used for decades as an educational strategy and which still is going on in many of the places many of the institutions also so let's understand what are the characteristics of offline method first of all yes it is teacher centered it means teacher plays an important role over here students are passive learners that is they are not active the approach can give good marks in the examination so you can also say that they are subject centered so main intention over here in offline uh, learning is you know make the subject <coughs> student prepare for the subject the student should be able to have a good knowledge conceptual knowledge related to subject okay now let us see what are the advantages and disadvantages now this again a statement or a assertion and question a reasoning a question can come on this so let's have a look so when we talk about advantages of offline method so it is it has an easy approach it is one of the very popular methods since our uh, since a long back and it is marks oriented so basically it's all about a gateway for your professional courses or for your higher studies so that is one of the advantage there are the few of the advantage of offline method when you go with offline disadvantages 
marks oriented rather than result oriented so it is basically focused on your you know uh, it doesn't matter what you have learned but your marks should be good so that that makes a disadvantage over here based so you can say that as i we have already started under levels of teaching so they are more into memorization or memory level focus is on memory level rather than on understanding and reflective level but see i can though it is a disadvantage but when it will be actually disadvantage when the teacher is not trying to get you know a focus of the students towards understanding or reflective if you remember in yesterday's lecture also i said that it has to start with memory level no doubt but teacher has to understand where exactly this memory level should be start to be converted into understanding and reflective level so like for example we have also started it under reflective uh, teaching learning when it when a teacher plays what exactly the role teacher plays in reflective learning so teacher has to become a mentor now what does that means it means teacher should leave the students on their own and just observe them just you know guide them do not uh, depend uh, do not allow the child to depend on the teacher and if the teacher is not able to do that it means that that method is becoming disadvantage because teacher is not able to switch from memorize memorization to understanding and reflective of uh, teaching so the students even if they pass their graduation or masters you know still they do not have a capability to take decisions okay they do not understand the analytical thinking the reason is that because they have been never brought from that memory stage out and never explore exposed to understanding and reflective stage so teacher has to play an important role over here otherwise it will become a disadvantage complete student depends on teacher students are passive listeners and cannot gain extra knowledge so now see we know that these are the advantages so that's the reason i mean i i mean today i don't know whether you people so whenever we talk about you know uh, in faculty development program or whenever you have been uh, as in faculty you have been trained every every time it has been said that in every class okay last 5 minutes or last 10 minutes make sure that you are uh, taking students to something which students are not aware which is out of the subject which may be a form of current affairs there which may be a form of you know a general discussion i know 5 minutes time is very less but at least once in a week you can try that so you uh, in in fact teachers will be liked more by the students because teacher is not only subject oriented but teacher is uh, helping the student to get you know in uh, to try to make them uh, or try to give them something which is which is in the form of actual world so that is you have to ensure that otherwise if you are doing the same typical pattern just then it will be a disadvantage but if you are trying you know you know as a teacher you know what are the disadvantages so it is in your hand how to convert this into opportunity and help the students to go towards reflective learning okay now going on with online learning uh so online learning basically we know that as this is what are the characteristics of online learning it is a computer enhanced learning separation of teachers and learners with the help of technology you can also say it is a self paced learning the use of computer network is essential over here without this uh definitely you cannot uh, learn or you cannot uh, study uh but at the same time yes it has advantages and disadvantages too so when we say about advantages content is updated uh, content update is easy okay saves your traveling cost saves your time uh, or rather you can say it gives you more flexibility okay whenever you want okay uh, even if you have missed something you can just come back to it and go through it internet connections are widely available so uh, internet is not a challenge okay but if the bandwidth is not clear then definitely it can uh, it cannot be accessible accessibility and suitability is um, important uh, otherwise it will definite def definitely is one of the advantage because if it is not available or if it is not then it is it will be turning into disadvantage only now when we talk about disadvantages okay uh, shrishti what happened uh, hello yes i am reading the chat see yeah, tell uh, yes yes i am reading can you i have stopped teaching can you tell me what is your doubt yeah put your questions uh, 
Shrishti, uh, I have read your chat, but what is your doubt? You have not uh, wrote your doubt, so it becomes it will. Def yeah, Shrishti, I am I am talking to you only. Can you? I am I read, but where is your doubt? There is no doubt in the chat. What you have raised, so can you tell me what is your doubt? Uh, Shushti, I am not able to get what doubt you are trying to ask me. If you can be very specific, clear or elaborated properly, I will answer you definitely. Okay. Uh, yes. Indu, what you have written, I have seen that um, online uh, teaching. But you know, very shockingly, if you have just read, uh, an, there is a new article on hybrid learning. And you know, the hybrid learning is very, you know, is very comfortable space now hybrid learning hybrid working hybrid uh, teaching so maybe in, in in a span of like what you said no regarding the connection okay so what uh, you said about the emotional connection maybe that will also come because this is the only way the things are going to happen okay so yes but yeah there are certain disadvantage feedback is limited you in that case indu your point can be proved over here um, that there is no connection or there is no bonding so feedback you know it does not comes the way it should be a uh, costly method of learning yes i mean to say the data packages you say or if you are if you, with a simple tool or like a simple mobile you can't if you are going with a technical phase of online learning you need to have a very uh, good amount of uh, i mean to say gadgets in order to have the capacity so that you can learn well without any disturbance now when we talk about um, health issues yes uh, when we see this is this point maybe a little bit you may feel it is uncommon but uh, please remember uh, online methods has lot of health issues uh, sitting in front of screen for a longer period of time uh, definitely uh, uh, facing the screen which can have an impact on or, or just in a sitting phase can have lot of impacts on your health so it results it has an impact on the health also performance can be slow or there can be lot of disturbance or distraction uh, because of low bandwidth or limited bandwidth and lack of personal connections uh, so that there is you know you do not understand the people you do not get in touch with the people so personal connection or personal network will be missing uh, with respect to what with respect to online methods okay so to make it clear now see we have learned very well we have learned the meaning we have learned the characteristics advantages and disadvantages so let us now summarize it with the help of a tabular format so when we look at uh, this uh, tabular distinguish between or you can say that um, so it is you know offline learning or online learning so offline learning is one of the traditional method online learning is one of the modern method okay when we talk uh, uh, with offline learning it has no health issues okay whereas online learning gets involved with certain of the health issues uh, need to be physically present yes uh, no need to be physically present now yes i mean to say in online learning you can just start on with your uh, you can enter into meeting but every meeting is not telling you to keep your videos on so uh, you can you can physically be absent and still the class can go on it has strict rules and regulations as well as guidelines whereas online learning does not have that it gives you as i said little bit of flexibility uh, yes, Neelam, I do remember you have told me also regarding offline and online method of question. There was a statement question in exam. Yes, you. I remember you have told me this earlier also. Uh, now, um, when we talk about uh, this is uh, there is no self-paced learning. Uh, Mr. Ray, it, uh, Sunanya, it is going uh, live only. It's not premier. It's going live. So there is no self-paced learning. Whereas in online, it is self-paced learning. Uh, it requires more time and money whereas it does not require now see as compared to now when we when i say that it does not require more time and money that is the traveling cost you can say okay that gets all involved uh, your traveling cost your traveling time or gets involved in offline 
whereas in online the traveling time and the traveling cost gets saved so here with that connection they have said that there is no requirement of more time and money and yes offline uh, learning not so costly but with we with if we add about the gadgets or if you add about uh, you know uh, specific things which are required then your online method becomes costly okay so this is how you have to pre uh, pre present it and keep it in mind okay so we have completed one uh, uh mr mohammed i have all i have sent a notification the notific i don't know what but i sent the links also you and neelam are not there in any whatsapp group because uh, before the class starts the link comes in the whatsapp group also notification is also there the link was set prior only so i don't know what is the notification you start once just subscribe uh, just press the bell icon so that you can get the notification very well just do and see that okay fine so yes uh, when we talk about uh, all this so we have completed one important point with reference to methods of teaching in institution of higher learning it was a one full fledged point now tomorrow we are going to study about ict in teaching aptitude where we are going to see about various online platforms various uh, initiatives in teaching with reference to ict so tomorrow we will be having the last lecture here we have done for the day tomorrow we will be having the last lecture on teaching aptitude as i said any new student to the class or any one who has joined it for the class for the first time this is the first cycle we have started with the new topics i mean to say with the new from the scratch you can check we have completed till date i have completed three units i have completed the unit of um, so i have i have sent the link on the group also so i have completed the topic of people development and environment higher education system and this is teaching aptitude tomorrow will be the last lecture any student who wants uh, the link are there in the description box all the fresh links are there in the description box uh, as per the name of the unit you can check them now from 3rd of feb okay we are going to start with mc uh, sorry we are going to start with new unit that is research aptitude so in the second cycle we will and we will put more importance to the exam point of view questions and little bit in detail also extra topics or something based on the paper of 2020 and 21 and 2019 we will study well uh uh neelam uh, one video is posted for all the documentation of set exam on the uh, channel please can you refer that video it tells you very clearly what you have to done do in order to get your set result everything is very well uh, written so you can just go through that okay so yes thank you everyone before you go uh, just a small announcement regarding online uh, global online university also has courses for gujarat set west bengal set uh kset as well as your ap set wherein the module goes like that you have full syllabus mock test pdf solution notes on all the units 2500 mcqs video lectures at a cost of 999 and if you have any doubt you can get in touch with the given whatsapp number tomorrow do not forget because we are going to have ict topic which is another important topic with all the new initiatives we are going to learn so attend the lecture tomorrow notification will be there i am i'll send the link in the group which i always do okay uh political science jay lakshmi uh, yeah faculty should be there a proper faculty we should get there is no harm in starting but faculty should be also worth okay so let's see how it works out but i will convey your message okay yes thank you neelam very much god bless you and i hope such good news you give for your net examination also okay thank you everyone see you tomorrow uh, sharp at 9 pm thank you